Hello, team. Coming at you in less than desirable circumstances today. Not quite so chipper. You can probably hear from the sound of my voice. I'm not feeling 100% today. Got this real nasty sore throat. You'll probably hear me coughing in a bit. I've got this fever. You know when you have this, this fever that makes it real difficult to get your thoughts together? Makes your skin tingly and skin crawling. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. And I've got to say, I think I'm in this for the long haul now. So I didn't sleep at all last night. Because on top of that, my back has decided that now would be a good time to start tweaking again. Cheers. So... The return of the back pain, which is probably stress related, that's a little clue. The clues are everywhere. Um, and why have I fired up the, the video today? Um, when, I'm <coughs> when I'm feeling this bad. Well, <coughs> one second. So that's what they call a dry cough, an unproductive cough. There's nothing there, it's just dry. It's raw, <laughs> to quote Gordon Ramsay. It's raw. Um, so I wanted to fire up the video today because this is when it's crucial. And anyone can be positive and be at peace and ah, be, be on the path of health and freedom and liberation and happiness and love and joy when things are going good. When things are oh, all, all your bills are paid. You're in good health, you've got good relationships, you've got a good job, everything's fine. And it's quite easy then to be very appreciative of life and just say, okay, yeah, no, yeah, I'm good, I'm glad I came. The real challenge, and actually where the most growth and development can come in, is when you're having a really bad time, when you're really struggling, when you're really suffering. It's crucial to start just changing the perspective on those hard times to look at pain and struggle differently. To look at pain and struggle not as something that is destroying you, but as something that is strengthening you, that is providing deep wisdom within you, that is providing you with an opportunity to step back and really assess what's important in life and really take a deeper look at where your mind goes when the chips are down. Is it a sense of panic? Do you feel a sense of guilt? A lot of people when they get sick feel very guilty. And that's indicative of we have a, a culture where if you're sick they, they kind of treat it as a disciplinary matter. Yeah, it's crazy. Emotional self-defense right there. Don't put up with that for a second. But anyway, not so much of a problem when you're self-employed. Although it brings other problems, because obviously if I wasn't very present and I didn't hadn't done a lot of meditation, I'd probably be panicking right now because it's like, oh, well, if I'm sick, I can't work. And then where the hell am I going to be on the streets by the time of Christmas? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, I wanted to give some tips at this point. I like to do this. I like to give you tips when I'm not having the best time. Because it's easy, if I'm that running along the seafront and I'm all buzzing, I'm like, yeah, you just got to get out and smash it, man. If somebody's hearing that and they're in a bad state, they're ill, they're sick, they've got a long-term illness, maybe even a terminal illness, or maybe their circumstances are just dire, it's just they're in an abusive situation. Or... And I can imagine that my message then is probably quite insulting probably quite an insulting thing to hear. Oh, you still have time and all that. It's like, well, um, easy for you to say, mate. You're loving it at the minute. So I wanted to, I wanted to give the tips for how to deal with the setback, the knockback, the illness, the suffering, when the, when the misery, the real misery comes to you. It's interesting to note here that most of the Psalms in the Bible I'm not a believing Christian, by the way. I'm not. I'm not pushing that as a belief, but I do 
I do get a lot out of all spiritual spiritualities, religions, faiths, and beliefs, and most of the songs are laments, which is simply to 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 tell God about your suffering, to simply to speak of your suffering and say, Lord, how I suffer, Lord, I am in pain, Lord, 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 but I still believe, I still believe, I still believe, but I just. Just to let you know, I'm really struggling down here. And how I kind of interpret that in the meditative sense, and this has been spoken of a lot, the, the Buddha himself said, life is suffering. Now the Buddha, <laughs> it's like, really the Buddha said that? I thought he was like a chill dude. Why would the Buddha say life is suffering? And he also said everything is burning. Everything is burning, which really hits home today, because I've got this fever. I, feel, I can feel it today, it's burning. And so, firstly there, it's understanding that a great amount of life will be pain and struggle and suffering. So the first principle here is acceptance. Accepting that what is happening is not that you have done something wrong, which is most likely ingrained into you on some level, but actually just a normal, natural part of life. It's just the, the roll of the dice, it's just the natural ups and downs, the ebbs and flows, sometimes you're well, sometimes you're sick, sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad. Sometimes things are going well, sometimes they're not going so well. And just an acceptance that, well, it, it is what it is. That's not to say that it's pleasant, and I don't mean to dismiss or diminish or minimise your suffering, because obviously, I mean, last night was hell on earth for me. I couldn't sleep for a second. I'm exhausted, but fever going, and I was panicky. It was, it was real suffering. And I was, everything, I was trying to get everything to kick in. Why is the meditation not kicking in? Or why is this alleviation? Until eventually, after hours, hours of this, Eventually, just a, ah, uh, just this relaxation came in as I just accepted that I was ill. So a huge amount of suffering is created from the resistance to the pain. I didn't want to admit I was ill. I was trying to tough it out and, and be strong and, no, I can't be ill and, oh, it can't be that bad. But then at the point when I simply fully accepted just how bad it is, actually, I could relax at that point. The panic left, and that lessens the stress, which in turn lessens the pain. So, acceptance is one. And sort of in the same ballpark as acceptance, whilst you're in the process of this, just accepting that you're ill, just bring it into the present moment. I am ill. And you can even say it to yourself, like the laments, you can even do this as an atheist, you don't have to believe. You can say, I suffer. I recognise that I suffer. You can say this to yourself, I am suffering. I hurt. But don't add anything to that. Don't add, I hurt, and that's not fair. I hurt, and I wish I didn't. Don't even, don't go anywhere near any of that. Just stay with, I hurt. I am in pain. This is suffering. I am in pain. I am hurting. I am sick. I am depressed. I am anxious. I am unhappy. I am not. And this is something that you can say to yourself. It sounds quite depressing. It's quite a dark meditation. But what else can you do? What's the other option? Fighting and resisting only creates more suffering. Now, Yes, we want to take the pain medication. Yes, we want to do the things that will speed up our recovery and alleviate the suffering as quick as possible. We are not tr saying, no, don't bother with any of that. It's not masochism. We are not enjoying the suffering, but accepting the pain on pain's terms. You don't have to be happy about it. Absolutely not. I am suffering. I hurt. I am suffering. This is painful. And the more that you bring yourself into alignment with what is happening right now, suddenly 
and maybe it's not so bad. Maybe, yeah, well, fever, I was kind of making out that was awful, but, well, I just have a temperature. I have a sore throat. I have a bad back. If I attach to that all of the pain and suffering from the last year that this bad back has caused, I'm going to be in agony. I'm going to be stressed out, depressed, miserable, because I'm attaching all of that pain to it. Which means I'm, I'm not just suffering the back pain now, today, but I'm suffering the back pain of an entire year backed up. Nobody can deal with that. But if I bring myself fully into the present moment, so this is where the meditative principles can help you even when you're sick and suffering, is to bring yourself into the present and just feel what is happening now. And a sense of fully, fully accept it. Again, no shying away, no saying, I don't want to feel this way. Obviously, that's naturally how we feel, but just don't go there for, for now. Don't go there for this time. Instead, just go into the pain and really feel it. Really feel it. What, what is that sensation like? What does pain feel like? And now we can start to go really deep into this. I experience pain. I experience pain. Who is the I that is experiencing pain? What is experiencing pain? How do I experience pain? Where is the I that is observing the pain? Where is the I that is observing the pain. I'm not saying you'll spontaneously go and recover, but stay with that question. See if you can use the pain and suffering to find that which experiences pain. That is not a beginner's meditation, granted, admittedly, but try it. Try it and see what comes up. You've got nothing else to do anyway. <laughs> You're ill, sick and injured, probably bedridden. Try it. What a great opportunity. Maybe that's what pain is for. I believe, and this isn't one that I'm, I'm bringing from somewhere else, but this is one that I guess I'm developing a little on my own about the clues being everywhere and what is. So I've got back pain. And what's, what's this back pain trying to tell me? Where is it? So this pain is in the back and it's in the ground. The ground chakra, the root chakra, right at the bottom there. Back ground pain. What is this back ground tension? Is there something psychological unresolved that is causing this back ground tension? I like to just look at that and and observe that. It's also then understanding that the sickness and the pain, it often happens when people are on a journey of changing and growing and developing, because I believe it's, they sometimes call it satsang flu, where as you, as you strip away the layers of all the pain, all the trauma, all the hurt over the years, as you strip that away, as it all just falls away and strips away, there's releasing. There is a release of this pain, of this stored pain, of this stored trauma, this stored hurt. And you feel it as sickness, as this, this pain is released. Now if you observe it like that, not as something that is hurting you, but as something that is healing you and strengthening you, let's not forget. The reason you have a sore throat is because the antibodies are working so hard. The reason you have the fever. <coughs> Stalls. The reason you have the fever is your body creating that thermogenesis to burn away the, the sickness, the bacteria. So even though we suffer the symptoms, the symptoms are actually healing the body. The clues are everywhere. The clues are everywhere. Pain is not a mistake. How can the universe make a mistake? 
make us capable of feeling pain. There's a reason for it. If it wasn't for pain, none of us would move. It's an interpretation. We have interpreted this suffering as a catastrophe. But it simply is a natural part of life that we must accept. And the sooner we can do that, the freer you will feel. Because you will no longer be afraid. No longer be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of. No sickness nor pain of body or brain could keep me away from that which I seek. Dogged and grim, you beseech and beset it. And with God's help, you'll get it. Peace. Peace of mind. That's just what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you for listening. You're probably the only people I'll be speaking to today because I'm going to be quarantined. Yes, it could be COVID. Quarantined as is. I shall be drinking Fanta. And watching Virgin River, which is a fantastic show on Netflix. Right, this has gone ridiculous now, this video. So, to recap, acceptance and allowing. So accept the feelings, allow them in. A sense of challenging. So, oh, okay, so I feel, right, let's really feel it now. Let's really feel it now. This headache's the worst pain ever. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Let it in. Let it in, and once you turn the light of awareness onto it, it no longer has the power to destroy you. And then lastly, look for the clues. What are the clues? What are the benefits of this? Why, why has the universe pulled you out of your daily life and brought you <coughs> to this place of sickness? Alright, I'll sign out there. If I don't survive the night, and it is COVID, and it's brown bread for me, which is Cockney rhyming slang, brown bread, you can't say, not alive. Uh, if, I, if I am brown bread tonight, then um, tell the world I said, you still. <laughs>